This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for the week of December 5th, 2022. We're still enjoying considerable latitude of movement and flexibility with a majority of the sky in mutable signs. Our minds and communication systems are the playing fields for the big action involving the mutability this week at the beginning and at the end of the week. And both of these events promise to make the noise level swell beyond what we've already been experiencing. On the 6th, Mercury, the cosmic messenger, the ruler of communication and how we get around, is pumped up by expansive Jupiter nearing the end of his time in Pisces. No one is going to be succinct. Everyone's going to have a lot to say. And because of the all-connecting nature of Pisces, we're going to be hearing a lot that doesn't really have anything directly to do with us, but ends up having an impact on us. Maybe the best way to deal with this is to look at it as an opportunity to let your mind and your mouths run as wild and far and free as they possibly can because very shortly afterwards, later on the 6th, things start to settle down and we're no longer content to fly in 15 directions, a bit less theory, trivia, and multitasking and a growing awareness of long-term ramifications and desire for something solid and reliable, which is going to come increasingly in waves into the atmosphere as the month goes on. Mercury leads the way by entering Capricorn on the 6th. Next week, Venus will do the same and bring us Santa Baby mode, and have us really looking at what we value in the long haul. All of this presaging the sun entering Capricorn on the 21st and bringing in the new season. Look for signs of this down-to-earth, solid approach cropping up amid all of the noise that will continue all week, amid the frenzy and the pace that will continue all week. Mars, the ruler of our drive, is still retrograde. He hits the midpoint in that process this week. And see if you don't end up with moments of contemplation and perspective concerning whatever his retrograde journey has brought into your life. It began October 30th. It's going into the middle of January. It's brought a lot of old arguments back around for consideration it has stirred conversations that you thought were over. Nope, they're not. It's brought many occasions to rethink things that you thought you had agreed to, to rethink situations that turn out to not be as firmed up as you thought they were. The halfway point of his retrograde journey delivers the opportunity to get some perspective on what has been going on for you, on the role that arguing perhaps has played, on the role that information has played, the impact it has had on you, certain conversation topics, certain information sources, perhaps social media. A lot of people are in a bit of a meltdown or even a state of mourning about what has been going on on Twitter, which is still working as I record this, but who knows what will happen before this gets posted. The halfway point has the sun opposite Mars, which is offering some of this perspective and possibility of objectivity. This aspect may also make it easy for you to see what more you want to do with this retrograde, what else you might possibly get out of it, and also the limits on what you're capable of actually making happen. Retrograde Mars has a second and probably bigger role this week. At the end of the week, on the 8th, it is exactly on the moon at the full moon in Gemini. The noise and the nonsense of the Mars retrograde are hitting critical mass, and this is a moment of it 
getting as loud as we can possibly stand it, and then dispersing. Emotions are coming to a head, probably not quietly, perhaps not peacefully. Mars is the god of war, and a lot of it is escalating to a point that we are finally simply done with it. Some of these that's it, enough realizations are coming in the blink of an eye. Cosmic change agent Uranus, the quick change artist of the Zodiac, is in a nagging, annoying relationship with the moon and with Mars and is activating an almost push-button release out of a lot of thought loops, a lot of conversations, a lot of information streams, a lot of held-back emotions. You still might feel unclear about certain situations, certain topics, with the sun and the moon and Mars in a stressful relationship with Neptune, the planet of illusion. They're forming a T-square, pressuring his cosmic fog machine, which could make situations diffuse and unclear and confusing. You could have conversations that change a situation immediately and not really be certain exactly what was said or how it happened, but leaving you with the realization that the way it started is not the way it is now. All ultimately a very good development, calming, stabilizing, and this will become increasingly clear and valuable next week. Once Venus, goddess of love and money and creativity, the ruler of our social interactions, once Venus moves into Capricorn and orients us all to situations, goals, desires that have durability and lasting value. So come on, feel the noise and make some yourself. It might become so ridiculous that your attachment breaks and you find yourself calming down. Homing thought of the week, pick your battles. Song of the week, I've got two. One is really old, Everybody's Talking by Harry Nilsson, and more recently, Noise by Kenny Chesney. And the image of the week is blowing up a balloon until it pops and being amazed to see confetti flying out of it. You'll learn more about all of this in my forecasts for the month of December and the Gemini full moon, both of which are up at my site, empowermentunlimited.net, where you can sign up for my mailing list and book a session with me. I'm Kathy Beal, a professional astrologer with more than 30 years experience. I host the show Celestial Compass on Ohm Times Radio on the first and third Monday of every month at 5 p.m. Eastern. And this week I am talking with Mark Borax about soul level astrology, which is a technique he has perfected for identifying your life's purpose. And it's absolutely fascinating. I host Lively Conversation on Facebook at Empowerment Unlimited and the group The Astro Insight Lounge. I also have lots of bonus content at patreon.com slash Kathy Beal, and I'm really grateful to the people who support my work there. I'm on Instagram at at K.A. Beal and on YouTube at the Professional Aquarian Channel. Talk to you next week.